Helping others is something Jeff Ward says was ingrained in him from a young age, and that generosity runs in the family. My son, who, who's a culinary arts student and worked at Number two training convention center for about 10 years, 11 years cooking there. He's actually a TA here now, so he's really good in the kitchen. So he was in there, he's been doing 12 hour shifts daily. Member 2 First Nations Elementary School has been temporarily transformed into a warming center. You get hot showers, you get warm food, uh, we have tea, coffee, water. There is a section of Member 2 that does not have power and it's a small section and however they're going on day six without power. While much of the community was remarkably unscathed, the warming center is open to everyone in Cape Breton Regional Municipality. It happens to others. We have that compassion and empathy for others, and we want to be there for them. Now, we're fortunate. We never lost power in my house, so we, we give back. The work continues on this house, its roof damaged by the storm. We're very fortunate. We do have um, uh, emergency management committees here in, uh, in Member 2, um, so we do, uh, do a lot of planning ahead of time. Planning that appears to have paid off. Health and Safety Director Peter Stevens says overall 10% of the community lost power. We still have no power in, in Buckton Gig and Picto, which is hit very hard over there, you know, uh, that we've been, our community and uh, the Mi'kmaq communities that has been assisting these uh, other communities. Eskasoni First Nation Chief Leroy Denny says chiefs across the province are working together. Our priority is elders and, and for those who are disabled and who have oxygen tanks, those are our priorities. We make sure generators go to these areas. Communities helping one another to clear a path forward. Shalima Maharaj, Global News.